What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Hu with Prolific Breathe. Hope you guys are all doing well today. We're standing in front of the Red Sea Reefer 350 today. To be honest, I haven't done much to this tank. I just let all of the anemones kind of escape out of the glass holders and I'm just letting them find their place and expand and grow like this one in the center I figure he's like nine inches across and he's super happy get this guy super happy as well and over here they're all just clumped up together um, had some splits so if you look at the center you see two but if you look closely right in the center there's a little baby one right there all of the clowns are loving it but today um i don't want to do an update on the red sea reefer 350 i figure i'll do that next week i know i had a lot of questions about my refugium and the refugium light if it's actually growing chato i'll do a video on that and kind of update you guys on how everything under the the tank is doing today i want to do a video on these metal tank stands that i picked up this is an imaginarium 55 gallon tank stand uh, that i assembled and everything i picked up four of these between november thanksgiving and christmas i just kept getting a bunch of emails from Petco having like super sales so if you spend $100 you get $40 back or you spend $100 and you get $30 back so I figure I'll pick up these stands um, I picked up four to do a hack job for my um, Red Sea Reefer Red Sea Reefer 425XL. I picked up this tank about three months ago. If you guys followed along, um, you would remember this tank. It's just been sitting here ever since. Um, if you guys want to catch up, I'll leave a link up in the right hand corner. But long story short, someone bought this tank off of Marine Depot, and upon getting it, um, the overflow had a scratch. But he went to Marine Depot and he basically lied to them. He told them that it was cracked. So they got a new tank off of Red Sea Reefer. Um, and when he got his new tank, he sold this tank off to somebody in Southern California. And it ended up getting sold again to an old man. And he did not know how to like plumb everything because all of the pipes are proprietary um, he listed it up on offer up and then I saw the tank it's brand spanking new except for a little scratch on the overflow right here but everything else is just immaculate I picked it up for about 480 bucks and I went out and bought all of the pipes and everything but what held me up was um, the stand <laughs> like I could go out and pick up a MDF stand that's white like this um, but it's $700 and I thought that was a bit much for me to spend on another setup especially this tank my goal was to make it a big frag tank not a display or anything like that so the next option up was to kind of build my custom stand with two by fours and things like that but i'm kind of short on time i just don't have time to um mock everything up cut everything paint and all that um, no time and i'm super lazy so when i saw um, these stands come up for sale i figure i can pick up a couple and kind of but two up against each other and bolt them together so it would fit the tank so this tank right here it's for about 47 inches um, lengthwise and front to back 
I think it's 22 or 23 inches and the stand it's about 48 and a half inches um, lengthwise and front to back is 13 inches so to compensate for the missing back piece because this is like 23 inches and this is 13 inches so I'm missing like 10 inches um, front to back I figure I'll get two stands butt them against each other so I have 26 inches front to back and then it'll leave me with a little excess in in the back now once I get the two um, stands together I'm gonna go to Home Depot and find some boards or whatever to place on top and I'll have the mat on top to place the tank on top so all of the weight is evenly distributed I'll also get boards on the bottom so we can put our sump down there but I figure I'll do an open box on one of these so you guys can see how it comes um, from Petco I guess and how to assemble one if you guys are considering um, using Imagitarium um, metal tank stands I think it's pretty sleek and the price isn't too bad all right so I got a place I got it placed down and I'm just gonna cut this open right now and show you guys what's inside I want to put a disclaimer out there. This is just my hack and how I'm approaching this. And I'm just lazy to build new stands out of two by fours. And I just wanted to go with this option because it just looks super clean. Instead of having two by fours. This is how it's packaged. Um, the last package I opened up, there was like, it looked like rust on the bags as well. But when I open it up, it's fine. I don't know, I don't know why that is, but it looks like rust, but then the product itself is not rusted. So everything is kind of wrapped up in plastic. Um, you get two ends and sort of two ends right here and then you get the the two bottom length. And then the top piece. It's a box of the hardware. I think it's just four bolts, four washers, and the feet that goes underneath so you can level the stand. This piece right here. All right, so let me walk you guys through the assembly. Okay, these are the two legs. Um, if you can see the finished product right here. There's two legs on both sides and then you just attach these two length pieces right here to the bottom and up top it's just uh, one piece with the horizontals um, support right here, the three horizontals. Uh, what I like about the stand is that um, you get these little feet so you're able to screw it up and down to kind of level if your ground is uneven this gives you an opportunity to kind of level your stand here's the feet you got four holes with threads in them and all you do is just thread it in by hand Kind of hard doing this with one hand, but um, you don't want to cross thread. Let me put this down and then 
get the threads in and everything so you guys can see what's going on. Now it does come with a Allen wrench which makes it good so you don't have to go scrambling and finding your tools and everything. I got the four feet in right here. Uh, they provided you with some padding right here. Put it onto the feet. As you can see. Right here, just put it up. Repeat for all four. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand right now. But you guys get it. Right here is another one. I'll do the other two and then I'll stand this up and then show you how all the other pieces attach. This is all the hardware right here. So each leg um, attaches to a beam like this right here. And each beam has two threaded holes inside and on the leg has two holes as well. I have it laid out on the floor. I'm just gonna hand tighten everything and then once everything's lined up we'll use the allen wrench to kind of crank everything down. So the washer goes into the bolt like so and what you do is you st stick the bolt through I would come across and you're gonna line this bolt with the threads down here let me get that started so you guys can see I'm doing this by hand you want to get the the threads in carefully so you don't cross thread or anything like that it should be fairly smooth getting it in by hand all the way and then have it a little loose so we can kind of line everything up now in the reviews I noticed people mentioning that the top didn't line up and there's gaps or it's uneven and things like that. You just got to take your time and kind of pre-fit everything and then once you have everything lined up you crank it down to set it in place. There's the other bolt through. Now we're just going to do this for all four sides. We'll save you the boredom and we'll fast forward. Alright, I got the bottom pieces in. It's loose fit. I did notice that um, for this set right here, I do have scrapes on both pieces, um, front and back. I don't know what that's all about, but I'm gonna have this piece in back and have this one in front <laughs> looks better but if this was your only stand I would be super upset with having the finish like that it's all like kind of scraped up and everything I don't know I don't think it's worth it for me to um, kind of force a return I'll just have this piece in back maybe I'll like seal everything up right here like in the gaps and everything with silicone and spray it with rust-oleum to prevent rusting and things like that but I don't know yet we'll see what happens right now I just want to get the the stands together and then we'll go from there be sure to follow along but the bottom pieces are in and see kind of loosely and then I'll put the top piece in um, same way I have everything kind of laid on the floor so it doesn't like put any weight on it or anything like that but yeah I'll put the front the top piece on and then okay. we'll go from there. here's the top piece and here's the horizontal supports and you notice that this bar does not 
go all the way through so you got to make sure that this bar right here is flush with the the bar adjacent kind of similar to this right here it's kind of flush you don't want to install this upside down and then the support is not even touching the upper part of the tank you know what i'm saying so just make sure this is right side up and not upside down and we'll just crank everything together right, guys here's the complete assembly of the second stand sorry i couldn't um, film what I was doing I'm all alone and I'm using both of my hands while um, assembling this so one hand with the tool I'm cranking down on these bolts right here I have a 16 bolts per stand so while cranking it down I'm using my support hand to kind of prop up this beam and guide it so it's even with the the side right here i don't want any gaps or anything like that or like unevenness between the leg and the the beam but regardless with the with the rimless tank i'm not going to be setting it onto the metal so my thoughts are to um, kind of put some weather stripping all along the metal right here and on top of the weather stripping, I'm going to put a board and on, and on top of the board, I'm going to have a memory foam. So the, the bottom of this tank could sit on the foam. So any inconsistencies or anything like that on the board would not translate onto the glass. That way, everything would be kind of safe and secure. But other than that, I'm pretty much done here. The two stands are together. But it's going to take some time to get the boards and everything. So be sure to follow along and I'll be sure to update you guys on this build as it's going. This is going to be a slow, methodical build. So be sure to peep in every once in a while um, to catch up on what's going on with the Red Sea Reefer 425. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you guys on the next one.